Are there more strands of hair in the world or more blades of grass? Wow, that's a good question. There's so many of each, and I just can't decide. Well, in the desert, there's not much grass. There isn't, but the world is pretty big, Brian. It's it's a lot of people, big. though. There's 8 billion people, and on average, there's 100,000 hair strands per person. So 100,000 times 8 is? Is 800 trillion strands of hair in the world. So do you think there's more blades of grass, or do you think there's more strands of hair? No. Yes, I said that right. How many blades of grass are there? There's so many. Well, there's places. no way not many anybody could count that. Yeah, well, there's not. I'm gonna say blades of gra- blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna say blades of grass. You're gonna go grass? Yes. I'm team. I'm team hair. I think there's so much. No. I, that's not even. No. That's just on the head. Go to Middle America, oh, yeah, and I, then come back to me. I've driven a lot recently, and there's uh, a lot of grass. But think about it. That strands of hair on people's head. We're not even accounting for body hair. Yeah, beard but. hair. Are we accounting that? You have to. In, oh, you, you have, have to. to. Yeah, it's a strand of hair. It counts. Does that switch your answer? I'm s- no, I'm still going grass. I don't know, Brian. Prairies? There's the the earth, grasslands? The earth is 25% what about, of the world. What about little things on, like, like in the underwater? <laughs> no, I don't, like seaweed. Does seaweed that count? Is, I don't think seaweed counts. We're, we're talking strictly land here. I'm still going. I don't I'm know. still going grass. I don't know. I think it's a it's a hefty. It's a good question. It's a great question. I, I want the people to know. That's a better debate than wheels and doors. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I 100 percent agree. Well, with that. now it's it's add some vagueness when you could you don't know one, but you know a pretty certain number for the other. Like we have yeah. a ballpark estimate for strands of hair. Well, just on the head, just on the head, which could be double to triple. But I wonder how many blades of grass. There oh, is imagine the leg. leg hair. The leg. Yeah, no, le- I have a lot of it. You I, have a lot of back leg hair. hair? You have a lot of back that. hair. <laughs> you have a lot it grows. What if you shave your hair? No, it just counts. It, it just counts. counts as one it hair. all counts as one, yeah, hair. one hair. Okay. Well, I thought that was a good debate. It is a good debate. I like that. Podcast forty eight. Yeah, that's a good intro. Here we are. Yes, great intro. Great debate to start it. We're almost to fifty. Almost. To, this is our second to last podcast in this studio. We are redoing the studio. We are redoing it. We're not moving. We're not moving. We're just shifting. Probably what. Six feet to Six the left. Six feet to the left, and we're going to each have our own wall. So this is going to be Zach's wall. That's going to be my wall. My wall is going to be over there that you guys never see, which is behind the Giants poster. That's going to be so interesting. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Um, we're doing it literally this Friday. This Friday. We're, we're going to put some some bread into it. We're going to put some bread into we're it. Gonna, and, and we're going to put some money. And some money. And some money. <laughs> bread and some money. Yes. <laughs> um, but super stoked for that. I think that's going to be super fun. We're going to spend a night, probably have a few beers. Yeah. Get some. Get inspired a little bit. Yeah. And uh, you know, creative. We might have a monitor in the studio. No. We might have a guest section. We might. We have a desk that's just sitting in this other room it's over, over here. There, I see it. It's you know, exciting things are happening in the makeshift. The world is realm. our oyster. Maybe merch soon. Yes, yes. Super stoked. Super excited. All right, back into the podcast. All right, let's do it. Here we go. What are we talking about? So I got a uh, geography question. Ge- oh, my favorite. It is your favorite. Okay. It's not really geography. It's just facts about the world. Okay. Name all eight countries that start with the letter I. The letter I. Here we go. Oh, man. India. India, that's one. Indonesia. Indonesia. Bang. Istanbul. No, that's that a city. A, that's a city? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's embarrassing. That's okay. That's okay. This is that's, what happens. Retrack yourself. Yeah, I'll retry. Let, Let me get, get back, back on track. On track. Um, Iran. Iran, nice. Iraq. Iraq, nice. That's four. Ah, man. Okay. Let's think. Indonesia. India. <laughs> You said those two. I I said Iran. You said Iran. <laughs> you said Iraq. Think uh think uh, Europe. Uh, think Europe. Yeah, go to Europe. Europe. I'll go to Europe. Head on over there. Um, there's Turkey. There's Sweden. Switzerland. Denmark. Um, there's an obvious one. In in Europe. In Europe. Next to England. It's like one of the Great main Britain. The main countries. France. Italy. There you go. Italy. Okay. Nice. We got there. We got there. That's we got five. There. You got three more. Oh. I think they're all in. They're all in Europe. They're all in Europe. All three. Oh man. I don't know Europe that well. I really don't. I see that. <laughs> um, what uh, happens when you freeze water? Iceland. Iceland. That's nice. not in. Is that in Europe? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. I debate you on that. Where one. Where would it be? I don't know. <laughs> it's somewhere. Greenland's the one that's in North America. I think so. Okay. I thought they yeah. were like Iceland close. is in Northern Europe. Okay. Cool. Iceland. Um, we have. There's Latvia. Oh, there's an accent. Oh, there's the next. Ireland. Ireland. Ireland's and there. last one. You feel good about me getting this last one or no? I feel, they. yeah. Yeah? I do feel good. They've been in the news, not in good ways. Wait, stop. Everybody's posting Wait. about it. I know, I know. Israel. Israel. Oh, that's the eighth. Those are the, that's eight countries. Eight countries. We'll take it. We'll take it. I felt Pretty like I, I was all right there. 
That was pretty better good. than usual. Yeah, definitely. Um, unrelated because we don't transition correctly here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is important. How many pairs of underwear do you own? I just went shopping recently. You just went shopping, mm-hmm. did you now? Yes. Oh boy. Yep. I have Calvin Klein and I have Tommy Hilfiger. Do you? Mm-hmm. I'm returning your underwear. It's upstairs. How? Oh, I'm not going to wear it. All right. Well, okay. I've graduated. Should we just? Oh yeah. They were like. <laughs> I don't even know what brand they were. Hanes, Gap. Probably. No, they were Gap. Oh. I didn't know the gap. That might be my dad's. It might be your dad's. I was wearing your dad's (laughs) underwear. Um, That's a little. I probably have. I don't know what's worse. I probably have a good like 15 pairs. 15? I would say around 15. I think 15 is good. I have like 10 to 20. Oh, 10 to 20. I have like 10 to 15. Yeah. I think 15. 15 is like when I'm I'm healthy on it. Yeah. And I've converted over to boxer briefs. Me too. But I run out of underwear sometimes. I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. I need to do laundry. Oh, my God. I run out of underwear all the time. So and there's socks. Oh, socks. I don't. I don't even want to get. Don't even get me started. I don't with pair socks. my socks, like, so they're all over. What do you mean you don't? Oh yeah, you just throw them. I all just in throw a, them in the drawer, which is an, an insane yeah, move no. to do. I know. You just, I lose you all just have. I lose all of them. I do. If I lose a sock, I or I get a hole in a sock, I take the one sock, throw it out with a hole in it, and then I take the other one and I put it in the drawer, and it's like a lost and found. So when it finds another buddy and I get another hole in a sock, so I pair stupid. them back up. It extends the life of my socks. I believe that it does. It's um a pro move. Some some would call some it. Some would call it. Yes, some would call it. There's this website tallorder.com that says on average you should own between 20 and 25 pairs of that's underwear. That's a lot. It is a lot. But that's like a real like healthy person that goes to the gym every morning, wakes up and works showers 3 yeah. times a day like you do. Yeah, showers <laughs> 3 times a day. But uh, the amount of underwear you should have, they say, depends on how often you do laundry, your activity level, your outfit choices, and personal preference. And if you really never want to run out, 20 to 25 is probably a safe bet, even if you're doing laundry every two weeks. That's almost one for every day of the month. That's the only reason why I do my laundry as frequently as I do is because I run out of underwear. Yeah. No, yeah, because I have enough shirts to cover myself for, I don't know, Yeah, but do you, do you reuse, do you rewear pants? Oh, all the time. That's why my laundry stays light. I believe If that. you're not wearing jeans for at least four consecutive wears. Four? Four. Depends what you're doing. If I'm going to a bar, I'm not wearing them again. My work pants? Never, never. Yeah, but if I'm going to a bar, <laughs> there's spillage that Bar's occurs. different. Bar's or different. food or bar, something. If, if I feel like I got them dirty, I'll wash them. Yeah, definitely. But when I go to work, no. It's the same pair of pants. I agree. Same pair of pants. I agree. Maybe maybe I rotate two, three pairs. That's fine. Um. But I thought that was a that was a lot of underwear, and I it's, have to either up my quantity or they need to lower their number for amount. That well, you should it own. seems like you should just up your quantity. I should, and I should too. I want more boxer briefs. Me too. They're expensive though. Very yeah, expensive. It's like three for twenty dollars. Some of them. That's expensive. Well, you want Calvin Klein? Yeah. Go to TJ Maxx. Tell me. Well, you. I get it from like Marshalls. Mar- yeah. Okay. Um, same thing. TJ Maxx. Marshalls. Same topic. Same topic. Not same topic. Different topic. <laughs> well, same topic. Okay. Uh, do you wear socks and sandals? I occasionally do. What's the, your thoughts on it? The only time I would do it is if I'm going to play basketball or golf. And it's very weird for me to do that, but I hate showing up to the golf course in shoes mm. and then having to switch to my golf shoes. And I hate showing up to basketball, having to take off shoes and put on my basketball shoes. Oh, so, uh, yeah. I think that real basketball players know that you wear socks and sandals before you put on your basketball shoes. You have to. And if you not- come into a court... With shoes on or your basketball shoes on, you know that that person does not play basketball. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's a dead giveaway. It's a fact. First of all, basketball shoes never outside. Never no, wear them never. outside. The other thing is you have to make sure you're not wearing a sp- the one that splits the toe. <laughs> those are like flip-flops. Flip-flops. Right? Yeah. Or are those sandals and the other ones are flip-flops? Slides are what we wear. Slides. We wear slides. slides. Well, there's a whole debate around the country about what you that's call a, those things. Yeah, that's Because there's a lot question. of, there's a big debate. But if you're wearing flip flops or slides, not yeah. sandals, yeah, you're allowed to because they're made they're made for it. They're like uh, slippers in a house. I agree. I mean, I wear socks and sandals all the time. Why would I not wear socks and sandals if they're available? If yeah. I'm wearing socks around my house and I'm going to Wawa, I'm putting on socks and sandals. Oh, you do socks and sam that in public? You yes, know, you go out in public. I don't care what I look like ever. You can't. So, you also can't match clothes because you're colorblind. Yeah. So. Why not throw on socks and sandals too? <laughs> it's a given. I've done that before. If I go get the mail, if I go get something from my car. Yeah, yeah, that's a gimme. If I go get the mail. Yeah, if I go down to the lobby, pick up a package. I'm in an apartment building. I'm not afraid of it. Um, that's fair. But you can't, I don't like going into a public setting and being like, okay, I'm going socks and sandals. Oh, I do if that I'm going to go in, uh, interact with people, I don't do it anymore. I do it all I the time. Up. I grew up. I do up. it all the time. You just haven't grown up yet. I just don't care what I look like. I can't help you there. Don't care. <laughs> I know you don't care. <laughs> 
Oh, interesting. I was chatting with someone recently <sighs> and uh, got some news. And then I did some research and I found this article. Okay. The podcast game is drastically changing. Why is that? Spotify is now doing podcasts in different languages, and AI is producing the voice of the person on the podcast. That's so cool. So, so we could be speaking like Russian? Yeah, we could. Uh, mi, mi pequeño español. Uh, 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 hablar un poquito. Uh, un poquito. Um, <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, they've piloted it with Dax Shepard, Lex Friedman, Bill Simmons, and more celebrities who I don't have know big who podcasts. Those are, but okay. Okay, that's great. Dax Shepard's married to Kristen Bell. Lex Friedman, he does like these. Uh, nope. Bill Simmons is the sports. Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's good. fantastic. So all the people that you don't listen to have never heard of. Yep. Um, they piloted it, and they're doing English to Spanish AI-powered voice translations. Does it sound similar to the people? It's it's the pretty same. much identical. That's it's pretty actually cool. pretty crazy. I would like to try that. So I was thinking, I was like, eventually it's going to come to us, and then we're going to be able to speak Spanish. I think German and French are next on the list that are coming in the next That's coming sick. weeks. And they're piloting it. And if they release it, then we could reach our international audience. Even though most of them speak English. but Most of them do speak English. But I feel like some don't, But or it's their second language. So to listen in your... Yeah. I'm just trying to imagine me speaking Spanish. Yeah, that would or be Or like very French cool. or German. That would be cool. I would want to speak French. French. French makes you sound cool. I've done some... Well, it depends what French you're speaking. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> that's all we say when we do the accent <laughs> but yeah so you can listen to your favorite podcasters in your native language in our own voices that we're talking so that's I'm hoping, pretty awesome i'm hoping spotify rolls it out eventually i think they will for everyone ai is changing the game it's insane it's, it's actually it's actually nuts so we could be in europe all of our europe fans will like us now. well you know <laughs> they will no, maybe they won't. probably hate us. um one thing that i think about when i think of podcasting though um, and like AI voice transformation is mm -hmm. that people could also make us say anything they want. Oh yeah, that's scary. And like they could like generate our face to say it, that the lips match, the audio. Yeah, that's scary. So we could be framed. I would hope that it would. I could be framed in my AI Spanish voice. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> it, could, it could translate that, would and be I wouldn't bad. be able to tell you what I said. But no, that's bad. Don't get any ideas. So you know how like people in Europe have like the metric system. Yeah. Okay. And we have the American system. Big which I problem. Don't know what it's called. Big problem. Well, uh, it's the. I think it's just the U.S. It starts with an A. I looked it up before, but I didn't want to say it or a P or something. Well, it's, it's funny the American system compared to the U.S. the metric system. My British friend is here, and he goes, "How warm is it out?" And I was like, 70 degrees." And he was like, "That means nothing." To that me. makes so much more sense. Watch. Fahrenheit is a better measurement than Celsius. It's so much better. It's drastically it's better. It's so much better. It's a, the, the scaling just doesn't make sense in yeah. Celsius. Do you want to know why it makes even more sense than Celsius? Why? The Fahrenheit measurement scale is basically on a 1 to 100 scale, right? 0 to 100. 0 yeah. to 100 scale. If it's 70 degrees, it's 70% hot. If it's 30 degrees, it's 30% hot. If it's over 100 degrees, it's too hot. If it's below zero degrees, it's way too cold. This is this is for Celsius. This is Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit. One hundred degrees is a hundred percent hot. Who says who? Are you making says this me. up? I'm just saying. Okay, you're making it I'm up. I'm saying. I don't know if this was backed no, by no, science. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't no know I'm there saying was a... it makes so much more sense because it's on a one zero to hundred scale. That relatively seventy five degrees outside. 75% hot. 50 degrees, 50% hot. I, I see where you're going with it. I don't know if I fully agree with what you're well, saying. Well, do it to the metric system then. No, the metric 26 system. degrees is what? I think it's like 70 degrees. No, that's like really hot. Is it? Yeah. Because I was in an Airbnb stupid. that had like yeah, the metric 27 system. degrees is 80 degrees. So you were kind of right. Yeah, I think like 22 is like 70 or something. Something like It doesn't that. make any sense because zero is sense. freezing in Celsius and 100 is boiling. 100 is way past. Boiling. So you got to use the half percentages to really get it's, an accurate Why would you want to do math? When you could just say 70 degrees, it's 70% hot. 50 degrees, 50% hot. 100 <laughs> degrees, it's 100% hot. It's hot. What happens if it's 105? What then it's too hot. It's you don't go outside. It's 105% hot? It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> or it's too cold. Okay. I'm not going outside if it's over 100 degrees. I'm not going outside if it's below zero degrees, unless I have to. Okay, I'll give you this one. I'll give you it. Because I, I think, think it, it makes, makes sense. sense. I think you got to look for the, the anchor points. It's like 32%. Not 32%. You're confusing me now. Yeah, 32 see, degrees confusing. Fahrenheit is freezing. So go based off that. If it's below freezing, it's freaking cold out. If you go above it... Yes, but, I, but I'm saying if you gave this the both these scales to aliens and said 50 degrees, 50% 50 hot, 
Yeah. They would understand it. It's the easiest to understand. You know the uh the calculation from Fahrenheit to Celsius? It's ridiculous. It's there's it's no... like you gotta multiply by like five halves and then and then carry a one. <laughs> or you just type it in on Google. Yeah, well, or ask Siri. Or ask Siri. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. My phone. <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. It's I've had experiences this week with it um, yeah. for some reason in California. Uh, the, the Airbnb was in Celsius. I had to convert it, and I didn't know. What? I set it to 26, setting inside to Maybe there was like Europeans that stayed there before. Maybe. Or and whatever. I did not know how to convert it. No, yeah, me either. Um, in a, a similar realm, who's the better artist, Kanye West or Taylor Swift? Better artist. Kanye West or Taylor Swift? Well, you want me to say Kanye West because no, you love Kanye West. No, let's. So I, Taylor Swift has the cult following now. She, 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 She's she, always she, had the cult she, following. She always has, but for it's really amplified now. And yes. Travis Kelsey relationship blowing mm-hmm. up on both mm-hmm. sides. Mm-hmm. They're helping each other out. Um, but is she really that great of a singer? Is she? Um, is she really? You know, I don't think I'm the right person to ask to this. Or does she just tell good stories? She might. Well, she's a singer songwriter. She might just be a really good songwriter, which might make her. She's a, a good. good artist. You can't say she's a bad singer. She's right? not a bad. She's singer. not a bad singer. There's better singers. Beyonce is a better singer, probably. Or uh, Ariana Grande, Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys, better singers. People love Taylor Swift because of the relationships. It's relatable. It's the same thing when the Olivia Rodrigo came out. Yeah, onto the scene. Everybody was like, "Oh, I relate to that song." She's a normal person like I am. Yeah, I think Taylor Swift is is the epitome of that. I agree. Kanye West, one of the best producers of all time, mm-hmm. has over two hundred fifty songs he's either made or has been featured on. Well, same with Taylor Swift. He's, probably he's got I don't know how many Grammys. Twenty one Grammys. Yeah, twenty two Grammys. Something like that. Taylor Swift probably still up there, but not fully up there. So what's the what's the answer? Who's the better artist? Uh, Kanye's in fashion. I'm not too big of a fan of either of them, but I'm not. I mean, either. I would probably uh, Kanye West fashion is not that great, to be honest with you. Uh, like, the Yeezys were big for a yeah, bit. Yeah, the Yeezys are nice, but I don't understand. But his... Also, like LeBron makes nice shoes, and like Kobe makes nice shoes. Yeah, but I think Kanye had more of a part in the design of them. I don't know. So they say. I probably say Kanye West. Okay. I have no really <laughs> information to back it up here. Well, I figured that question would stump you a little bit, which is why I asked it. Yeah, right. It it's, it's a me. tough question. It is a tough question. Kanye West, not so much in the best light in the news. No. Um, and Taylor Swift is the epitome of of like light the, in the, the news. Yeah, perfect role model for for people to yeah. follow after right now. I would say probably Kanye West too, in terms of talent, in terms of production, yeah. all this that, um, the rapping, the, the the art that he does outside in the fashion industry. But Taylor Swift is the bigger artist right now, and probably will be. Legacy wise, uh, definitely, yeah, a hundred percent. She's she's gonna be the Dolly Parton that Dolly. She's way bigger than Dolly Parton. Well, I think looking back, like during when Dolly Parton was Taylor Swift's age, I think she was as big as Taylor Swift oh, is now. I disagree. She's gonna be. She's more. I think the Taylor Swift's up there with like, like the Beatles and Michael Jackson. Yeah, but Dolly Parton's like a country icon. Name one song by Dolly Parton. I don't know any. Name of a song by the Beatles. It's totally Get back. different. Get back. Right. It is different. So you're saying Taylor Swift is on the Beatles level. I think that she's close to it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not even that big of a Taylor Swift fan. You're not. I guess I'm just trying to come up with Social a Social media also <laughs> changes everything. Maybe not Dolly Parton. Maybe Elvis. You think she's Elvis? Oh, Elvis is up there. Elvis yeah. is up there. Elvis Taylor is Swift is going to be that big. We're not just going to forget about her and she's going to be old and I washed. Mean, she's been around for like 20 years already yeah. or however long. How long should you wait to ask a girl to be your girlfriend? Oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm just wondering. I'm not. This isn't the question to ask me. Why? Because I'm horrible at it. I, yeah. don't, I don't know what to... I don't, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, horrible, I'm horrible with timing. I don't know. I'm always too late to something. Or so what I'm do you think, early. just for the general public? If you're talking to a girl for... Every situation's different. Yes, of course. If you're talking to a girl for... It has to be at least three months. I would agree with that. And I would say you don't want to go longer than six months. Yeah, half a year without making it official is a little too long, I think. Yeah, because you got to a teetering point where you're basically in this weird zone where you don't really know what you are, or you mm-hmm. might be friends with benefits, or just a little more than this, that. Um, and I feel like you just kind of know when the timing is right, whether it's someone telling you you're too late to something, and be like, hey, like, what are we? Or mm-hmm. you realize mm-hmm. yourself, and be like, okay, I want to make this person more in my life. 
So I'm going to say in between the three to six month range. Yeah, you like, got to know someone enough. I like the four to five month range. Four that's, to five. That's probably it. Right. Uh, you gotta, like, three to four. Three to five. Because you got to determine three, if you're going yeah, to work with that person. And like it's a, it's another level and step. But I don't think it's as big as of a step that as people make it out to be. I agree. You can't, you can't go past six months. I don't think. No. If you go past six, six months, months, you're, you're just you're toast. You're bringing it out too long. Well, you're going to get called out for it, and you can recover from it. Six months is a little too long. I say three to three to six is perfecto. Okay. That's my That's fair. take. And Travis Kelsey, I guess, uh, asked Taylor Swift in like two days or something. Well, or maybe they're not even dating yet. Yeah, I don't know what, what they're, if they're official, boyfriend and girlfriend. Are they going to announce that it's official? Who knows? I don't think so. It's probably think not. that's how that works. Probably not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. No, that was a good answer. I mean, I agree with it. Not that I have like some crazy. You ready? Yeah. Transition? Transition? Transition. Girlfriends, candy, snacks. Can you guess the best selling cookie in the world? This is all time. All time best selling cookie. Chips Ahoy. It's not Chips Ahoy. Oreo. It's the Oreo. That's easy Oreos. money. Well, it is easy. Can you guess how many Oreo cookies have been sold since 1912? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I was just going to tell you. I was just going to tell you, but I figured I got it too soon. I'd know, I yeah, I'd, I'd make soon. it. We need a complete video. 1912, here. that's 100 years. 100 times. I'm going to guess there's a billion sold a year. So $150 billion. billion. You know, $150 billion. I like the logic that you went through, but it's a little bit more than that. $200 billion. $450 billion Oreo cookies have been sold around the world since 1912. Are you a double stuff or a regular stuff? Double or stuff. triple stuff. I oh, know, not triple stuff. Quad you see, stuff? You see the mega stuff? Cinco stuff? Why do they have all these stuffs? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's way too much. Double stuff is enough. Double stuff, it's the perfect ratio from cookie. I agree. I was talking to your dad earlier. He likes the uh, the vanilla triple ones. stuff? Oh, he likes the vanilla The golden ones. one. The golden. They're good. Golden ones are good. They're good, but not... It's Milk's favorite cookie. It's the original <laughs> classic. So what's the best kind of Oreo that's not the original? Maybe it's the uh, maybe it's what's what's it called golden maybe it's golden. the golden one golden one the golden one um, should I read off some Oreo I don't know because like the there's a pumpkin one isn't there there's one that's like they got, have every flavor they have birthday cake birthday cake's not bad the mint Oreos are good I was gonna say the mint if I had to go one direction I would probably go mint and I'm not a big mint guy but I like mint I Oreos. love mint and chocolate listen to these Oreo flavors okay hot chicken wing. Hot chicken wing. That's that's ridiculous. Waffles and syrup. That sounds delicious. That's probably that's probably good. very solid. Firework. I think that's just for Fourth of July. That's Cherry it. cola. Probably <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> Never. Pina colada thins. That's not what you want. Kettle corn. Kettle corn. Mm, what? Root beer float. <laughs> Root beer float might be decent. If this you... one's crazy. Swedish fish. Yeah. No. What are they red? Yeah, I read that. That's insane. Hot and spicy cinnamon. Okay, now we're talking. Key lime pie. Key lime pie. Blueberry pie. Blueberry pie works too. Fruity crisp. No, blueberry pie doesn't work. All right, I don't need any more. Last one. Salted caramel brownie. That That sounds delicious. That sounds good. That's where we're. That's where we settle. Um, it leads me into my second debate in this question. What's apple cider donut? Mm, No. Mm, Okay, you got me. All right, I'm sold. I'm done. It leads me into my second question within this cookie realm. Okay. What's the best cookie of all time? So the number one sold is Oreo. Do you think it's Milk's favorite cookie? No, I think that's Milk's favorite cookie. Oh, you know what it is? No. <laughs> I can't, cannot wait for what you're about to tell me. <laughs> Fudge Stripes. Fudge Stripes. Oh, Ke- the Keebler. Fudge Stripes are delicious. I don't know. If, I don't delicious! Know if, I wouldn't say. I'd put the Samoa over. No. Fudge. And you're forgetting about just a classic chocolate chip cookie. Well, I thought it was like in the packaging you were talking about. You could have Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. You could no, have no, 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 no. You could have salt. No, no, you could, no, no, no. What about an oatmeal raisin cookie? What? <laughs> You're telling me an oatmeal raisin cookie is the best cookie per- of all time. I'm not saying it is. You just put it on the list. It should be in the conversation. No, it should it's, not. It's definitely the most underrated cookie no, of all time. No, it is not. Because everybody hates it just because you don't like it's oatmeal. It's horrible. I eat oatmeal you said, every day. You are a, literally a 65-year-old man. I am. You eat raisins for fun. And my back And hurts. oatmeal. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> There's don't don't, come, wrong with don't come in here and insulting me uh, like this that. This is why we get questions on how old we are. Yeah. How old are these guys? 35? Yeah, no. we're. I'm 26. You're 26. And uh, I have the mind and body of a 50-year-old man. Uh, Fudd stripes are good. Some, I would go Samoas. You like, I'm not a big coconut guy, but I do like Samoas. Yeah. Coconuts go thin mint. Get it out of here. 
<laughs> doesn't deserve to be in the conversation. <laughs> All moving right. on. Moving on. All right. I have a question for you. Remember we did uh, describe these people in one word? Yes. I have six more people for you. Okay. Here we go. Describe these people in one word. I'm going to try to get quick. some controversy I'm, going. Of you course. Ready? This is what I'm here for. Lionel Messi. Oh, uh, short. Short. <laughs> That's it. I thought you were going to say goat. I was thinking goat, but he's short. short. Yeah. Kanye West. Artist. Uh, creative. Creative. Controversial? Con- Which one? Controversial. Controversial. LeBron James, um, King, Mr. Beast, Creator. These are not controversial. I don't know what you all. want from me. I don't know how to. Uh, Ice Spice, Ice Spice, um, Munch, <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled, the best. That's two words. Oh, best. Now, what's he say? <laughs> God did. That's two words also. That's okay. Golf, golf, chandelier. <laughs> I call her chandelier. Oh, that's all I had for. You. All right, sorry. I wish I could be more controversial. It's uh, just not in my. Who's saying I'm not controversial? I don't know who that is. I'm controversial. I don't <laughs> Stan. I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. I just kicked Stan. Um, I went to San Francisco recently, and I did Yosemite, and I did World uh, Traveler, Las Vegas, and I did Zion, Zion National Park San guy. San Francisco. Got recognized by a few people. It was fun. Thank you. If anyone's listening that I spoke to. Backwards. Oh, back. Go back on. Pain. Yeah. You say I'm the old one. Go on. Um, so I'm looking at the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'm like, damn, that's a lot of cable. There's a lot of cables. There's a lot of cables. Did you know the Golden Gate Bridge cables can wrap around the Earth's equator three times? It's a lot of cable. There's two main cables over three feet. Just over three feet? That doesn't make any sense. Wide. No? Oh, yes. I guess so. Each of the two main cables are three feet wide, and there's seven... I don't know what I'm saying. They're long cables. It's one of the largest saying. bridges ever made. They got a lot of they got a lot of cables, and it's long enough to encircle the world more than three times around the equator. I don't understand how that's possible. That doesn't make any sense to me. How do you put that together? Where do you get the cable? Enough to wrap around the world? Apparently. It doesn't make any Maybe sense. Maybe if you unravel the cable. Well, because there's yes, yeah, so they're so thick, they're probably tw- wrapped around each other. There's twenty seven thousand five hundred and seventy two parallel wires. And that's 7,659 feet long worth of cables. It's a lot so of cables. So you multiply there. those together and you got a lot, you got a lot of distance. A lot of distance. Three times around the world distance. But make it make sense to me. It's, it's just lots of cables. Where do they get that cable? That around the world. They get it from the the earth. They make it from the earth. Yes, but how do you how do you go about wrapping those you together? You don't wrap it together around the world. No, but you have to. I don't know. It just seems too long. Well, that's the, like the thing in your body. Yeah. The, that can wrap around the world or something. Yeah. I forgot what that was. Because it's so thin or something. Mm. Organs? Small something. intestine? Something like that. I don't know. No, remember. small intestine is like 10 feet, I think. Something like that. Three times. That's crazy. Well, I was going to say because of the traveling realm, I want to stay in that. In that Go realm. for it. When you travel, do you poop at all? Oh, yeah. You do? All the time. I have VIC. Can I guess what that means? You can. Vicious intestine. Corporation. No. no, I made it up. It's vacation induced constipation. It sounds like a real disease. But apparently, that means you poop a lot. No, no, vacation induced constipation. So I have trouble pooping <clears throat> when on vacation. Oh, why is that? Well, apparently, 40% of people experience constipation while they're away from home. And it's because you're trying new and different cuisines, you're on a different schedule, anxiety and stress, sleep disruptions. All these play a factor that it <laughs> constipates people when they go. Travel on vacation. It took me three full days. Maybe it's because you just, three full days yeah, to poop. Was it big? Um, it came out small at first, and then the second one, liquid, a, f- a few days later, came out gross. Um, <laughs> maybe it's because it was like your first time on the West Coast, or like one of your longer plane rides. No, this or, happens every single time I travel. Like even if you go to Boston, I could be, I could be down here. Really? Well, not really. Because I'm familiar with this place. But if I go somewhere where I'm staying over someplace and never stayed before, it could be 50 minutes away from me. I have trouble pooping. Thanks for sharing. And the best way to prevent <laughs> it for the people who experience the same that I do is, is to be proactive with your diet, eat sleep, Thai food, hydrate, White Castle, and also try going on a walk 15 minutes. White get, Castle. get that colon working. Is this, the, did you make this up? And the bowel movement. <laughs> VIC, I made VIC up and then I looked it up. You're making up these like... Vacation-induced <laughs> constipation. Hey, I'm a... I'm a doctor. Victim. I know I'm a victim. Oh, you're a victim. I'm a victim or a of patient. This. It's tough. It it's doesn't tough hurt though. It doesn't hurt. I just don't do it. It's tough out there. It's tough it life. Tough. 
Uh, all right, so traveling based, we talked about the fist fights. Yes, above, uh, above, 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 involving the states. The okay, US yes, states. the battle. If every country were in a fist fight, what one person would you pick to represent the USA? Oh, one person per country. Uh, USA. Like Russia would probably have Khabib, or would it be a UFC fighter? Would it be a I boxer? said John Jones. John Jones. Yeah. That's that's respectable. He's won like every one of his fights by a lot. What about what about Jake Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep a straight face all second. What about Logan Paul? Logan Paul. Uh, what about Dylan Dennis? He's a grappler. I don't know who I would who I'd represent. I would pick John Jones. He's twenty seven to one. His only loss is a DQ because he was elbowing someone illegally. Okay, on the ground. Well, oh, if he if he's a beast like that and he's built like that, he's a beast. Then you could put him out front, and I and would put him out front. Or confident. like the great Kali. That's see, I like I like that. <laughs> the big like show. the big show. Mark yes. Henry. Mark Henry. Vince Wilfork. That's a fast. But man. then at the other part of me you want someone with like uh Ray Mysterio. <laughs> Ray Mysterio. Oh, that he too. would be in Mexico. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Damn it. I'm trying to think of like uh like just someone who would the could great be the, Kali would be India too. The face of the country. You know? Like uh, like they don't necessarily need to be a good fighter, but they could just be they could be the they represent America. What if we had like a magician. Chris Angel. David Copperfield. Yeah. That would be cool. What if we put out someone out there like really nice and tried to settle? That's what I'm saying. Like Obama. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Ah, he'd probably make a pretty good video. <laughs> make a really <laughs> good a video. very good video. <laughs> I can see the thumbnail now. <laughs> we got every country in the world to fight for their lives. <laughs> That's what it would be. That's the hook. That's the hook. All right, last one. Last thing I got here. Let's hear it. Then we're gonna wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Um, cricket. There's a cricket here. There's Go something on. about this studio recently. Go I think on. it's asking to be redone. Yeah. Do you understand how dangerous sneezing while driving is? Sneezing is a dangerous thing, but you basically go blind for like I a half can't. a second. This is going to drive me nuts. Just go. You basically go blind for a half a second. Yeah. If you're traveling at 60 miles per hour and you sneeze on the road, you cover 50 feet. Really? Just blind. Just you can't see anything. Also, if you sneeze really hard and you're like, Achoo! and turn the yeah, wheel, you could, you could jerk the wheel. Apparently, in 2014, drivers temporarily lost vision due to sneezing, and there were a cause of 2,500 incidents every week in England. In 2014? In 2014. Maybe there's a lot of pollen. Made <laughs> them sneeze. In 2014 in England? Yeah. I don't know how much I love that logic, but pollen. I guess that works. 2,500 a week. So people were just sneezing and crashing. 2,500 what a week? Deaths? Accidents. People were getting accidents every There's week. No way. <laughs> there was a because study. of sneezing. Sneezing while driving in 2014. There was 2,500 accidents There's every week. No in England. way. I'm There's no you. way that's true. There's it's it's a sort. I don't remember the source. Two thousand. That's like how many people is that? It was 2014. Anything could have happened. You're right. Anything could have happened. Maybe people were just getting into accidents. They're like, ah, I sneezed. That means <laughs> <laughs> there was almost a million accidents over I, the course of a year. I think so. I don't know. Was that but a high that year? Is that math right? I don't There's think that's There's no right. way. 52 times 2,500? That's a few hundred thousand. Oh, a week. I did per day. Oh, yeah. Let's settle down. <laughs> 52 times, yeah. That means there was 357 accidents a day. Yeah. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> That's not real. I'm pretty sure. That's not real. I'm pretty sure my source. I don't know. What's anymore. your source? I don't know. Will I, your I friend? No, from it's England? not. My fr no, I was driving and I sneezed and I felt like I was putting us in danger. Podcast forty eight. <laughs> what is it? Forty eight. Podcast forty eight. We're wrapping it up. Um, again, second to last podcast in this studio. Super excited for the new studio. Podcast fifty. Big reveal. Lots of different decorations. You got your wall. I got my wall. Walls um, are coming up. It might not be fully complete. We'll continue to add to yeah, it. Yeah, we'll probably add we'll, to we're it. We're going to film in the studio. Podcast 50. That's it. That's it. Anything else? No. Follow us. Follow us. We got Cameo. Um, if we you want a Cameo, cameo we'll say pretty much anything. Whatever pretty, you want. Birthdays. Pretty much. Punishments. I don't know. Whatever That's you it. want, we'll do it. Podcast 48. That's a wrap.